instead of milk, shaving foam instead of whipped cream, and jelly instead of soup? Food photographers will try anything to make a pretty picture. Watch our new video to find out about life hacks and tricks to get beautiful photographs of food. Christy is a beginner food photographer. She's been bothering every chef in town. Rosie asked the young blogger to have a seat and let Rosie cook. But Christy still tries to take a picture of the bouquet. Rosie asks the waiter to take care of this annoying client. One lucky toss of the menu and Christy orders. Let's start with breakfast. Great! Rosie's got cornflakes for you. Specially made for a food photographer. Pour water into a gar agar. Mix. Pour Elmer's glue on top once it sets and pour in cornflakes. Decorate with slices of banana and kiwi. Add sprinkles. Spray hairspray on top to make it shine. Christy snaps a picture. The cornflakes and fruit look beautiful. But as soon as she picks up a spoon, the cereal doesn't seem tasty anymore. What is this kitchen nightmare? Rosie explains that this dish was made just to be photographed. It's not edible. Rosie serves the next dish, but the finicky photographer isn't happy. These noodles aren't photogenic at all. While Christy asks to speak to the manager, her dish gets switched. Now that's better. Lightly fry some asparagus. Add sliced bell pepper and pieces of chicken. Fry it very quickly. Boil rice noodles. Put them onto the frying pan. Add soy sauce and mix. Pour in corn syrup to add brightness and shine. Put the half-cooked dish on a plate and sprinkle sesame seeds on top. Christy picks up the camera. These noodles are great models. So shiny and radiant. Now this is professional work. I can have a whole exhibition of my food photos. Christy notices Rosie eating a burger. I want a snack too. Rosie has an extra beautiful burger for the food photographer. Get the burger ingredients. Attach them to toothpicks. Put in a lightly fried patty. Use shoe polish to give the patty a nice sear. Put in a slice of cheese. Heat the corners with a blow dryer. Attach pickle slices onto toothpicks. Add tomato slices onto toothpicks as well. Put on the top of the bun. Use a syringe to squeeze out ketchup neatly. Coat the patty and vegetables with oil to make them shine. Christy starts doing her favorite thing, taking photos of the burger from all angles. It's so tall and looks so yummy. Just don't eat it. It may be beautiful, but it's inedible. There's a toothpick trap inside. Rosie got a delivery of old fruit, but she'll make them new again. Just cover dull looking fruits with hairspray and they look delicious and shiny again. A little hairspray and they're as good as new. Let's hand the fruit plate to the food blogger. Get a whiff of that. But at least they look great in the pictures. Great harvest, but we're not going to eat it. Christy's taking photos like she's already a master photographer. Live stream from the kitchen, all done. And the chef treats her client to some ramen. Everything swimming around randomly in the bowl. I don't like this bland soup. Okay, Christy will switch it out. Dissolve gelatin in water. Put in cooked rice noodles. Wait until the jelly sets. Color lightly cooked chicken with soy sauce. Lay out the other ingredients on top of the jelly. Pour in mushroom broth and decorate it with halves of quail egg.
sprinkle sesame seeds to finish. Christy immediately snaps a pic. All the ingredients are visible and it looks beautiful. It's not ramen, it's a work of art. Rosie finishes decorating a milkshake. Take a look at that. A pink dream come true. Mix flour and water to the consistency of thick yogurt. Add pink food coloring. Fill a pastry bag. Put edible glue around the rim of a glass and dip it into sprinkles. Fill the glass with the mixture from the pastry bag and top it with shaving foam instead of whipped cream. It'll hold its shape and not melt. Decorate it with sprinkles. Christy wants the milkshake now. You want it? You got it. What beautiful photos. Oops. What a clumsy photographer. Christy understands that this isn't whipped cream. Gosh, the service in this place. While there aren't any customers, Rosie wants to experiment with presentation. Let's pour in the cream soup. But the cherry tomato for decoration always drowns in the potato mix. How can I rescue it? Here's an idea. Mix cooked potato, red lentils, and onion in a blender. Blend it to the consistency of a puree. Put a small glass upside down in a deep dish. Pour in the soup until it covers the glass. Put the decoration in the middle. A tomato and leaves. It'll stay on the glass. Rosie uses her life hack. Now the tomato won't get lost. Rosie feels like an innovator and a trendsetter in the world of culinary decoration. Rosie's working her magic over some vegetables. Why is she covering tartar sauce with hairspray? Is that a new recipe? Insert artfully sliced vegetables and cube cheese onto wooden skewers. Squeeze shaving foam onto a whole bell pepper. Add in finely chopped pickles. Make it look like tartar sauce and sprinkle it with dill. Put lettuce, the bell pepper with the sauce and the vegetable skewers onto a board. Cover the vegetables with hairspray to make them shine. After the hairspray dries, cover the vegetables with a mix of water and glycerin. This forms beautiful dew drops. Christy comes to visit the chef. She takes a photo of the beautiful vegetable plate. Rosie decides to prank the blogger and acts like she's taking a bite. Christy follows her example. She shouldn't have. Ew! This is poison, not food! Some things are better to just be photographed, not eaten. Rosie made the world's most perfect cake. It's beautiful from all sides. Cut three triangles of a thick sponge cake. Put three triangular pieces of cardboard between them. Secure them with toothpicks. Fill a pastry bag with shaving foam. It'll hold its shape very well and cover the layers between the cakes with it. Decorate the upper cake. Cut a strawberry in half. Attach it to toothpicks and put it onto the cake. Christy photographs this symmetrical dessert. How beautiful! But Rosie rejects the food paparazzi. This is my secret recipe. But finally, the chef gives in. You can photograph my cake, since it's inedible anyway. This shaving foam only looks like whipped cream. This is only for display. We can eat another cake that won't be as beautiful, but it'll be tastier. Rosie wants to try a hot life hack. She lights up some incense sticks. Their smoke looks just like steam coming from a fresh hot plate of food. Christy sees a warm sandwich, just what she needs. But the sandwich turned out cold and bland. But what about my melted cheese? This sandwich doesn't deserve a food photographer. Cover sandwich bread with mayonnaise. Put in a piece of meat, lettuce, and bell pepper. And add in a lot of shredded cheese so it'll melt well. Cover the upper slice of bread with turmeric to make it look toasty. Put an olive on top. Microwave it for one minute. 
Rosie gives Christy a sandwich that follows all the rules of food photography. The cheese inside can stretch all the way to the next kitchen. Fine, I'll accept this sandwich. Rosie's kitchen should be tidy. What's up with this hot dog? It looks weak and messy. No one will want to eat it in this condition. Let's fix it up. Cut a hot dog bun on one side. Put in lettuce leaves. Add sliced tomatoes, onions, and pickles. Take a raw hot dog, heat a metal skewer over a flame, and make grill marks on the hot dog. Put the hot dog into the bun. Secure it with toothpicks. Decorate it with ketchup and mustard. After our culinary cosmetic operation, this hot dog looks 100% better. But we should be careful. This hot dog's entire appeal is held on toothpicks. The chef and photographer can't agree which dish looks better in the photo. What's more important, beauty or taste? Christie's throat is dry. But this Coca-Cola has been there since yesterday. It's warm and unattractive. Rosie quickly makes it better. Pour soda into a glass. Spray the glass with a mixture of water and glycerin. Use a skewer to make drips. And toss a fizzy tablet into the soda to make it bubbly. The new and improved Coke looks way better. It's so fizzy, but it tastes even worse. Rosie wins the argument. The taste is more important. Did you like our life hacks for food photography? Then let us know in the comments about which dish you and your friends will photograph. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss any new life hacks from Troom Troom.